Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at the compliments he wants to give you. So we have three piles to choose from. Keep your person in mind when picking a pile. So for pile one we have the Amethyst Crystal with the Temperance card. For pile number two we have How Light with the Magician. And for pile number three, we have pyrite with the four of pentacles. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that it is calling out to you the most. And that will be your pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. And then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this purple amethyst crystal in the temperance card then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at compliments he wants to give you. Please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started I just have something important I'd like to say. I recently had a giveaway for 25k, by the way, thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it, but the giveaway winner hasn't reached out to me yet, so if your name is Tripti Deb, please reach out to me at my email address, psychicsarantaro at gmail.com, and you can find my email address in the channels about section. So let's go ahead and shuffle your cards and see what comes up here. So firstly, Spirit was clairvoyantly showing me your smile. That is something extremely gorgeous or handsome to him. And he just finds your smile so adorable in some way that every time you smile, it just, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just makes him feel a different type of feeling that feels good. He just loves looking at you smile and making you smile, where he will even try to do or say certain things to make you smile, to make you happy. Another thing I see he wants to compliment you on is your hugs. I feel like this is my pile of people that are very physically affectionate. Maybe you are that type of person that loves to cuddle, that loves to be, give like big bear hugs. And I'm seeing something about your hug, something about your touch uh, feel so warm and fuzzy. Almost like teddy bear energy, <laughs> but it's, it's so cute and cuddly. So he definitely loves physical affection from you. So, you know, even if you're not a physically affectionate person, or even if he isn't, he likes it from you. Okay, so that's something I see. So we have Page of Cups in the reverse. I also see something about him like carrying you or picking you up. I, I don't know what that's about and like twirling you around in a circle. I saw a vision of that. So all these things I, I said right now are visions I saw. Nine of Swords. The Four of Swords in the reverse and strength in the reverse. So what I'm basically seeing here is a lot of you watching this pile have like this soft, gentle energy and like princessy type of vibe. Whereas for others of you, I'm seeing more of like an edgy type of vibe and I'm hearing boho too so some of you could dress like that or could just have that type of energy or vibe that he likes or maybe just your overall aesthetic your fashion style is something he wants to compliment because it seems like you have your own sort of aesthetic going on even if it's not a specific aesthetic it's kind of like unique to you so I definitely see that, like he sees you shining in your own authenticity. You're real. You have like this realness about you. You don't pretend to be somebody you're not. And that's something he really likes about you. And it's almost like he wants to give you princess treatment 
Also here, this card always reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. So it's almost like when you're sleeping or when you're relaxed, it's like he wants to compliment you because you look so cute when you're relaxed or when you're relaxing. Maybe you look so cute and peaceful when you're sleeping or, you know, like lying on the down on the couch and watching TV or something. I'm just getting that vibe. You know, even when you're just comfortable and you're not, for the woman here, wearing makeup or something like that, it's like he still finds you quite beautiful naturally. This pile definitely has natural beauty in some way. And I just saw the angel number 444. So it feels as though he's very protective over you. You know, when you go out in public, it's like he wants to protect you and sort of put his arm around you and be like, you know, have that protective stance up. I don't know what that's about, but it's coming through. But you also make him feel safe whenever he is feeling restless, stressed out, anxious. It's almost like you just know how to make him relax and calm down. As I say that, I'm hearing that song that's like, baby, calm down, something like that. So yeah, you, you just bring this very calming energy to him whenever he's stressed out. And he's hoping he can do the same for you whenever you're stressed out. Like he's hoping he can comfort you and be there for you when you're not having the best day, you know what I mean? So it's almost like he wants to show you he's there for you in some way. And while I was speaking to you now, pile one, I felt a sense of deja vu, like I've already been here before. So maybe he gets a lot of experiences of deja vu around you. Maybe you and him have some kind of past life connection where it's like he feels a strong, deep soul connection to you and it just feels familiar with you, but in a good way. Another thing I see with this pile is him wanting to give you cute, like, nicknames because um, Spirit is showing me, like, someone almost say like a nickname, but it's a cute nickname they only give to their person. So Spirit is showing me that. And there's sort of like a compliment through that nickname. Um, So I'm trying to think of an example. Let's say I used princess treatments as an example. So let's say someone here, you know, wants to call you my princess. There's a compliment through that, if you get what I mean. Um, But it doesn't have to be that. I'm just using that as an example. Another thing I definitely see here is he wants to compliment your hair. It's like your hair is always so soft. And especially when you have just washed it and put in conditioner, it looks so soft and beautiful. And I'm almost getting the impression from this pile, a lot of you have like wavy hair or straight hair, but your hair just looks so soft and healthy in some way. He also wants to compliment your eyes. He loves to look into your eyes and just look at you. And sometimes he'll kind of just zone out while he's speaking to you. But not because he's not paying attention, but because you're just so beautiful that he just keeps staring at you. And then it's like, I'm seeing that cat meme, if you've seen it on Instagram Reels, where it's like, huh? <laughs> so it's like, I'm seeing that energy where he just kind of stares at you and admires you when you're speaking to him and appreciates you. Even when you're looking away, he likes to kind of look at you. Uh, one thing I do see here, if you have ever struggled with any insecurity or self-doubt, it's sort of like he wants to clear that self-doubt or that insecurity for you, one, one, one on the clock. So I'm seeing something where it's like maybe you wear something and you're like, uh, should I really wear this? I don't know if I feel comfortable or confident in this. I really like it. But then the person's like, yes, you should wear it. It looks sexy on you or it looks beautiful. Whatever it is, I see him like sort of wanting to validate you when you don't feel your best or, you know, when you're doing something and you're like, uh, I don't know if I'm this good at this. And it's almost like he wants to validate you and say, you know, you are very good at this. 
And like he wants to sort of get you to believe in yourself when you don't believe in yourself and support you and be your rock of strength. You know, whenever you're having a bad day, he wants to be there for you, support you. And maybe you're very supportive towards him. So maybe that's something he wants to compliment you on and reciprocate. Another thing I see within this pile is you may have certain things about you where you may not realize that they are strengths of yours or how do I explain this spirit? So let's say you have a certain trait or a talent or something you're good at, but you don't realize you're good at it. Or let's say you have a beautiful thing about you, but you just perceive it as normal, but he perceives it as the most beautiful thing ever. It's kind of giving me that vibe. I don't really know how to explain it, but I hope that makes sense. And I think a lot of you in this pile are trying to step into this place of confidence within yourself and belief within yourself and not doubting yourself as much. And he wants to compliment the journey you've been on because I definitely feel like this pile is quite spiritual on their healing journey. Also learning to be patient with your manifestations and believe in yourself even when you don't see them there in your physical reality. It's sort of like the work you've done on yourself spiritually, emotionally, he wants to compliment you on because that shows great power and strength to be able to face our emotions and learn from it. With the Hierophant here, it's like he learns from you a lot and he finds you quite wise. So not just wise, but also intuitive and smart. So he wants to also compliment you on that, like how amazing your mind is, that it's sort of like he just learns from you with the Hierophant here. Another thing I see with this pile is you can be quite structured and determined. I don't feel like you're childish in any way. Like, you are very responsible. And sometimes, sometimes, like, you may feel like, okay, okay am I being too rigid? Am I being too sort of, like, structured in a way where I have to do this and this and this and get everything done? And it's sort of like maybe you put off rest at times to be able to get things done. But it shows diligence. And I'm not saying we shouldn't rest because rest is important. Rest is productive, okay? Because when we rest, we can recharge and then come back in the best mind frame and from the best energy levels. But anyhow, there's something about your diligence uh, you know, like when you want something, you're determined to get it. Also, I feel like you amplify this person's energy. Whenever he's around you, he feels quite energized and he feels quite motivated and strong. And it's like the compliments you give him are things he's never looked at within himself. So it's the same thing where when you give him compliments, you know, you make him feel more confident within himself and more of more of having this belief within himself and not doubting himself. So that is another thing I see here. Um, you're very emotionally mature, pile number one. Six of Cups reverse, so we have the three of cups and we have judgment. Okay, so one thing I do see is you're not like your past self. You've changed and transformed a lot as a person in the best possible way, right? But you befriend the older version of yourself. You don't you don't judge the previous version of yourself that didn't know better. And it's almost like if you look at your reactions back then when people would you know, get reactions out of you or when situations were very chaotic and you look at your reactions now, it's much different. If you look at what used to irritate or aggravate you back then, 
and maybe now it doesn't. It's almost like you've become more emotionally mature and graceful. And even in situations where, you know, somebody's trying to cause a fight with you or, you know, just get on your wrong side because some people just like to pick fights. You know when to walk away from it. You know when it's just not worth it to give your energy to this person. So it's sort of like that unbothered energy (laughs) is something he wants to compliment you on and how you've grown as a person because he can really see that how you react to certain situations or people where you may have reacted differently in the past has changed a lot. Yet you're also not judging your past self for the mistakes you once made, yet rather learning from it and growing from it and understanding that that was what your past self had to do to survive or they didn't know any better, but now you do and now you grow. So that is something he wants to compliment you on your growth. The white dresses here in the Six of Cups card makes me think of marriage, like uh, you know, traditional marriage. So I don't know, maybe he sees you as wifey material, marriage material in some way. And also there is a sense of nostalgia, but not necessarily in this lifetime. So when I said deja vu, it's kind of like even when you first met in the beginning, He felt the sense of deja vu, like he's always known you, and he always feels like he can be friends with you, yet also offer you love at the same time. He feels like you're sort of his soulmate, but much more than a soulmate. And if you don't resonate with this, if you're not that serious with this person, then I would suggest picking another pile, but maybe some bits resonate, some don't. But I feel for most watching this pile, you're in a very serious relationship. And it's also like a relationship where you feel comfortable with each other, where you feel seen, where you and can also be friends with each other. And that's something I definitely see. I'm hearing you know how to give him what he wants without knowing what he wants, without him telling you what he wants. And you put in a lot of effort towards the connection. He really appreciates that and wants to compliment you on that. Also, when you put your mind to something and you're diligent with it, he wants to compliment you on that too. Because even when challenging things come your way, it's like you have that strength to overcome it. And a lot of you watching this pile give me independent body energy But I feel as though ever since you've gotten into this connection, it's like, you don't have to be independent and carry these bags. Let me carry it for you. So I feel him wanting to compliment your independence, but also wanting to say, you know, let me do this for you. Let me take care of this for you kind of energy. Again, princess treatment is coming through. Also, in uh, the past, you know, when you... When you had certain memories together, he's wanted to compliment you on certain things, but didn't, and I'm not sure why. I think for him, sometimes he doesn't exactly know how to express what he's feeling in the moment. Like, I see him being somebody that feels deep feelings towards you, but maybe doesn't always know how to express it or how to word it or how to word sort of like the compliments he has towards you because I I see him looking at all that you are and seeing you as perfect as you are. Like, you don't have to change a single thing about yourself. You know, of course, we're all going to grow and change as human beings, but it's like you're perfect just the way you are to him in his eyes. And so it's kind of like sometimes he has certain things he sees within you but doesn't necessarily know how to word it or express the way he's feeling towards that. There's some kind of block there where he just, I don't know what it is, but I feel like he gets kind of nervous sometimes in front of you, like gets nervous giving compliments to you and things like that. Even when you compliment him, 
I even if you've been in a relationship for a long time, I feel like there's still this sense of, you know, you getting nervous around each other in a good way because you like each other so much. Also, another thing I see here is, you know, for the women here, like if you ever go to the salon and get your nails done or go and do your eyelashes or go to the salon and get your hair done, there's something about, you know, paying for a service and it looking beautiful on you. So, you know, every time you get something like that he wants to compliment you on that or if you do it yourself let's just say you do a face mask at home and do skincare you know and your skincare uh, you know makes your skin so glowy right after and he wants to compliment that I'm seeing something like that or let's say you get ready and you're about to go out and you look so beautiful with your makeup your hair done it's like he wants to compliment you that on that, but he also doesn't want to just compliment you when you're all done up because he feels you're beautiful even naturally. So this is what I have for you, pile number one. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pal number twos, if you chose this How Like Crystal and the Magician card, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at compliments he wants to give you. Please be aware that this is a general reading, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, I just have something important I'd like to say. I recently did a giveaway for 25k. So thank you so much for 25k subscribers. I really appreciate you all. And the giveaway winner has not yet reached out to me. So if your name is Tripti Deb, please reach out to me at my email address, psychicsirentarot at gmail.com. My email address is also in the channel's about section. So you chose the magician card. Let's go ahead and shuffle your cards so that we see what else shows up here. So first thing with this card, I'm noticing her hair. It looks really pretty. I just want to show you, like she has these two strands out. So I don't know if some of you, you know, tie up your hair and have like two strands out in the front or if you put like a hairband in your hair and have two strands out. But that literally looks so pretty on you. And like the dresses you wear, if any of you ever dress in traditional clothing, you know, he could want to compliment you on that, but it doesn't have to be. I'm also thinking of like formal clothing as I look at this card, you know, the magician creates. So I'm thinking of creativity, but I'm also thinking of somebody that is able to make things beautiful. So let's say, you know, you dress up and you know, you make yourself look beautiful, he wants to compliment you, or, you know, let's say you clean your home or your apartment and you make it look beautiful. It's, it's kind of like you have this ability to bring beauty to everything you touch. Uh, everything you touch turns to gold. Spirit is showing me a Midas touch. And Spirit also showed me Father Christmas. So when I think of Father Christmas, I think of gift giving and Christmas and all that. So maybe you're a very thoughtful gift giver or maybe there's just the things you do where you give. It doesn't have to be gifts that are very thoughtful and beautiful. So that's something I see. I see that he feels like you know him from the inside out and you always know when his mood's off like let's say he's sad like you know and then you'll kind of like give him love in some way or kind of like ask him if he's okay um it's just like you know him inside out you know what he needs like I'm kind of seeing that energy and he appreciates that so spirit guides of pile number twos um like there's something definitely about your fashion style that he wants to compliment a lot we have the devil so I feel like with the devil here this represents your sensuality you being so seductive and he's quite literally <laughs> a little bit obsessed with you in a good way and he wants to show you that 
Um, but it's in a good way. We have the King of Wands. So he always feels this Russian surge of passion whenever he's around you. And he finds you quite sexy. And a lot of you have this like luxurious vibe about you. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing that. Next, we have the moon card. And we have the nine of wands. Yeah, it's like you always know things that are hidden with the moon. Um, do you know what spirit is showing me? You know, when a when we have like a deep connection to somebody and let's say they're at work and we're at home and you can just tell their energy shifts and they feel sad and you just message them and, you know, like express love to them or, you know, just message them in general to check up on them, 1331 on the clock. Um, so it's almost like you just know what's going on with him, even if he doesn't tell you. And it's almost like he's thinking in that moment, how did, how did they know? And I feel like he wants to compliment you on that because you just know what he needs. You know when he like needs attention or needs love or just is having a bad day. So with the moon, you're quite perceptive of his emotions and you hold space for his emotions where not many people have done that for him. So he de definitely appreciates that and your loyalty and your kindness. There's something about your eyelashes that are quite pretty. Your nails too. It's like you give off this glamorous, luxurious vibe. I keep seeing that. And I'm seeing this energy where, you know, both of you always get very happy and excited to see each other. So whenever he sees you happy and excited to see him, just as much as he's happy and excited to see you, it just makes him feel like so much passion, like I said before. And I just saw the angel number 555. So it feels like you've changed him in a way for the better. It's 1333 on the clock. So, you know, this person could have grown a lot because of you. They could have seen a lot of unconscious things they do because of you. The hermit is at the back of the deck currently. So with the moon and the hermit, it's kind of like this feeling of the more I'm with you, the more I feel like myself, the more I feel like I'm getting to know myself better and really go through this journey of introspection, seeing things that I've never seen before so that I can start to grow and become a better version of me. So it's like you get him outside of his comfort zone. You challenge him in some way to grow, to not always stay the same because, you know, as I'm looking at the moon here, the moon has its different phases. It's meant to change. So it's kind of like you, you've helped him transform in some way, grow in some way, change in the best possible way. You challenge him to be his best self. Let's see what else comes up. So, Spirit Guides of Pile number twos. Compliments he wants to give them. So, we have the Page of Wands. Nine of Cups. Page of Swords. The Hangman. So one thing I do see is you're exactly his type. And another thing I see is he just feels extremely fulfilled and satisfied with you. He may not fully tell you all the things he thinks and all the things he admires. He may be extremely vague in giving his compliments because as I'm reading the cards, I feel like the messages I'm getting are very straightforward and, you know, when I connect to different people's energy, some people, they go into detail and they explain things, but this person 
to me feels more straightforward like if he's going to compliment your eyes he's just going to say your eyes are beautiful but he, he doesn't really go into detail but in his mind he sees the details of what makes your eyes beautiful do you get what I mean so it's kind of like you know his compliments to you may seem vague but in his mind it, it's a lot deeper I hope that makes sense and with the Nine of Cups, it's kind of like you fulfill everything he wants within your connection. Like you meet a lot of his needs and a lot of the things he wants within your connection. And with the Page of Swords, this could relate to your voice. He also feels like, yeah, your voice is beautiful, but he also feels like you're his dream person in physical form. And he feels a strong connection to you. So what I'm seeing now is actually kind of cute. So, you know, you are exactly his type physically, personality-wise, like I said earlier. And he really finds you sexy and attractive, like I said earlier. And he always likes to express that to you, but also doesn't want to, like, make it too known or too obvious how how much he feels for you. <laughs> um, but what I'm getting here is it's not just the physical he's attracted to, he's attracted to your soul. It's like he sees your soul without the body and he finds it beautiful. That is really cute to me because a lot of people just look at the physical and not the personality or the soul. It's like Besides the physical, he just sees your soul and your soul's beautiful, full of light. Something about that is so cute. Another compliment he wants to give you is on your kisses. Like, I feel like you're a really good kisser. And there's something about you really turning him on in some way. Like, there's more... Um, compliments to do with sensuality and like you can kind of use your imagination and put two and two together so you know let's say you have a juicy behind area <laughs> it's like maybe he wants to slap that uh, peach and kind of like give a compliment on that or you get what I mean like it doesn't have to be that but something about your body sensuality like you know, even when you're dressed up in, so I'm I'm seeing an example of a woman being dressed up in lingerie and, you know, you look so sexy in that. It's like he wants to compliment you on those things. And I feel like when you buy clothes or items or skincare, makeup, whatever it is, you like quality over quantity. That's something he really likes about you. Because you're investing into yourself. You're spoiling yourself. And when you spoil yourself, it makes other people want to spoil you too. So he sees you as this queen of pentacles energy. Somebody that, you know, can make their own money. Somebody that can go after their goals, create their own dreams and wishes so that it comes true. And you're patient as you get there. You know that Rome wasn't built in a day, but you still go towards it anyway. And something about that is so sexy. <laughs> the fact that you have goals, the fact that you want to grow in life, you have wishes of where you want to be in life and you go after it. And that's quite attractive to him. We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. One thing about you is you don't mind a challenge because you learn from it and you grow from it. Another thing I see here that he wants to compliment you on with the Tower being in reverse, you know, when it comes to situations that are quite chaotic, when we don't know what to do, it's sort of like you... Even in the moment, if you feel quite stressed out by the chaotic situation, you know how to calm yourself down and think clearly and sort of get through that challenging moment without letting the chaos of the outside world affect you. 
So that is, that just shows a lot of strength you have to be able to stay calm or grounded within chaotic situations outside of your control. Another thing I see about you is you notice a problem before it becomes a problem. And let's just say, for example, you're in a relationship with this person and you're like, okay, I'm noticing you do this, you have this bad habit. I'm not telling you this to attack you, but, you know, I'm telling you this before it becomes a problem and becomes even something bigger. So the fact that you're able to be honest and have those difficult conversations, I feel like you like to give him compliments, but you're also honest in a way where you hold him accountable for things where he needs to work on and grow, but you also hold yourself accountable in that sense, and you notice a problem before it becomes a problem so that we can work on it Uh, so that it doesn't become worse. So, you know, a lot of people sweep things under the rug and just ignore it until it, you know, starts all this chaos and then they pay attention to it, but you don't. And that's something he admires. I'm definitely seeing a lot of dark hair beauties in this pile, like brown, brunette, black hair. I'm seeing that and I'm also seeing you're quite intelligent and smart like you have this thirst for knowledge but you're also quite playful at the same time and although you're responsible and serious where you know like when to focus on your goals and all those things you can also let loose and be more playful at times and he really appreciates that about you too because Like, you know how to have balance between those energies. You're really romantic too. Like, a lot of the things you do are really thoughtful. The things you say. The decisions you make. It's like he finds you very responsible. Anything else? The High Priestess. The Knight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. There's something about your scent. You always smell really good to him. There's also something about eyeliner, if you ever wear eyeliner. And just the way your hair looks, even when it's put back. Or let down for the woman here. But for the men here, your hair could also look good too. Another thing I see him wanting to compliment you on is your eyebrows. And also the way you groom yourself. You take care of yourself in in a way where you're always grooming yourself and making sure you look good. So that's something I see. He wants to compliment you on the fact that you work smarter and not harder. That's definitely coming through as a message for me because as I look into your energies, yes, you work really hard towards the things you want, but your intuition always guides you to the right place. A lot of people without intuition, sometimes feel lost or confused or directionless. But somehow your intuition just guides you to what you're supposed to do next. And it almost seems like effortless. Like you sort of want to do this and then you just go and do it without thinking about it too long or doubting yourself or overthinking. And even if you have struggled with that, it seems like you try to combat with that You try to combat that by just doing it anyway and trusting your intuition without necessarily looking for outside validation from other people to say that you're right. Okay? You're also very ambitious, a go-getter. Yeah, this pile is very gifted. You know, whatever you do, whatever you're gifted at, he wants to compliment you on that. Because it seems like you're really good at something. So, you know, some of you are spiritually gifted, very intuitive, and you just know things very quickly. And it's like, how did you know that? 
some of you it's creative gifts for others of you it can be anything any kind of gift you have that he wants to compliment you on you know making money can even be a gift um <laughs> in business you know things like that so it can literally be anything but it seems like he sees you as quite gifted this is where I'm going to leave your reading. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number threes. If you chose this pyrite crystal and the four of pentacles, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at the compliments he wants to give you. Please be aware that this is a general reading, so only take resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, I just have something important I'd like to say. I recently did a giveaway for 25k, and the giveaway winner has not yet reached out to me, so if your name is Tripti Deb, you won the giveaway, congratulations. Please uh, reach out to me at my email address, psychicsirentower at gmail.com, or you can find my email address in the channels about section. So you chose a four of pentacles, let's see what else shows up for you, let's shuffle your cards. So spirit guides of pile number threes, spirit guides of pile number threes, compliments he wants to give them, compliments he wants to give them. So we have the page of wands, we have the hanged man, we have the queen of wands, and we have the moon. So I heard Mongolia, maybe somebody watching this piles from there. That's not going to resonate with everybody, but with maybe one person. And another thing I see here is you have like this energy of royalty. You give up this vibe, not just to him, but to others of royalty. And like people just instantly respect you and put you on a pedestal and look up to you and so does this person this person sees you as somebody that is so in touch with your heart so in tune with nature the animals uh maybe you just love pets and animals maybe you have pets of your own that you're so cute with like the way you treat them and he wants to compliment you on that like, I'm almost seeing somebody that loves to be out in nature and let's say somebody wants to step on a bug and you're like, no, don't step on the bug. Like, I'm seeing an energy like that or, you know, caring about the environment. So that's definitely something I see. Another thing I see here that he wants to compliment you on is your shoes. Like, you always wear really nice shoes. And I'm seeing, uh, well, I heard you look like a brat doll. Or like a doll in general, like maybe a Barbie doll or I don't know. But you look like a doll to him. A lot of you have this kind of whimsical energy, this more magical type of energy. But yet you're also strongly rooted here on Earth. I don't know if you've recently been doing a lot of grounding, you know, trying to connect to the Earth and ground here rather than just, you know, being in those spiritual realms. I feel like all three piles are quite spiritual. Like, whoever's watching all three piles, I feel like you're all quite spiritual and in tune with your higher self and the higher realms. But, like I said, you're also quite grounded and down to earth. So he loves your whimsical nature. You almost give like fairy or mermaid vibes. <laughs> I'm just seeing that clairvoyantly or I'm seeing that series. I'm trying to remember what it's called, but I'm seeing it clairvoyantly. Is it Game of Thrones? I don't know. Um, But it's like they're all dressed up in a certain way that is kind of giving off that vibe. I don't know if it is that, but yeah. Okay, anyways, also another thing I see here is time management. You could be very good at managing time. Something like that's coming through. 
your legs are very gorgeous too. Even if you're a man watching, you could have really attractive, nice legs. Your energy is also just very beautiful. Like your energy and your personality is pretty, but then you also look very sexy and very attractive physically. So it's like you have both. You have a beautiful energy, but you're also quite attractive on the outside. And it's like your inner joy shines through and makes you shine. That's what I heard from Spirit. It's like you're a bundle of joy. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you have very big eyes or very round eyes or like more voluptuous kind of body type or curvy type of body type. Even if you're more on the slim t side, there's still curves there that he wants to compliment you on. Also, your facial features are quite beautiful. It's not just one feature that sticks out the most, but I, I think it's your eyes that stick out the most, like that he wants to compliment a lot, but just in general, your facial features are quite beautiful and mesmerizing, I hear. He wants to compliment you on the fact that you're so responsible. Like, you know, he knows that if he wasn't around, you would be able to take care of yourself and survive. You know, maybe you're very responsible when it comes to money, when it comes to the things you need to do, you get things done. There's just something about responsibility here, right? And he sees you as a catch, as a keeper. And he finds you so fun to be around. You're also very funny, like... He wants to compliment your sense of humor and also your music taste, I'm hearing. I am seeing somebody being pregnant and the man kissing her pregnant stomach. So I don't know if somebody here is pregnant. It's not going to resonate with everybody, of course, but maybe a specific message for somebody or he could imagine himself having kids with you and kissing your you know your pregnant belly and complimenting you and you know like spoiling you in some way another thing I see here is there's a lot of hidden things you don't see about yourself that he sees in you and admires with the moon here this is like hidden to you um, and it's not just physical but also personality things he sees in you that you don't see in yourself that he wants to compliment and it would almost feel make you feel like, wow, like you noticed that about me. Um, so I'm seeing that. Anything else? The Hierophant in the reverse. The King of Wands. Compliments he wants to give pile three. So we have the seven of wands reversed and the knight of cups reversed. Uh, so I'm hearing that Barbie song. It was like a specific Barbie movie. Um, I think it was Princess and the Pauper, if I'm not mistaken. I watched it as a kid and they sing like, you're just like me, I'm just like you, something like that. So a lot of you could definitely look like dolls because Barbie's coming up now. Um, maybe both of you are very attractive, like Barbie and Ken. And he sort of feels like, you know, whenever he walks out in public with you, he feels proud that, you know, you're his person. Regardless of your gender specifically, it feels like power couple energy. Like whenever he walks out in public with you, he just feels great and confident and amazing. Like, you know, I have this beautiful person over here and they're mine. <laughs> and I can see other people looking at them and desiring them, but I'm the one that gets to be with them and keep them. So it makes him feel very lucky at the fact that he's able to do that but he also feels like you two have a lot of similarities like I said with that song that came up from Barbie so 
he wants to compliment you and be like, you know, like, you're just like me, you just get me. You know, I, I see so many similarities in the both of us that it just makes him feel seen and understood whenever he's around you. Because you're so similar, it feels like you just understand each other. But it's also easier to get through challenges together because you know how the other person is. Aw, so I just saw a message that's so cute from Spirit. Sometimes he worries and fears that he may not be good enough for you. Uh, we have the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Like, he worries and fears that maybe you're bored or he's not good enough for you. Or, you know, like, maybe you can do much better than him. And it's sort of like you always make him feel confident and... You always make him feel good enough, even when he doesn't feel so. That's really cute. And another thing I see here is you're trying to gain and build more confidence within yourself too. So it sort of feels like, you know, we both might not be the most confident, but uh, when we have each other, we can support each other and help each other believe in each other, in ourselves, you know. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So, yeah, you just make him feel good enough. And also, you let your guard down with him. Maybe you're somebody really guarded at first when it comes to strangers and people. You're a really loving person, but... And you do wear your heart on your sleeve, but you don't always show it at first. Because of maybe previous experiences you've been through or trust issues you may or may not have. And the fact that you're so open and comfortable with him and you let your guard down with him but not with other people makes him feel special. And I guess he wants to compliment you on that. Compliment on the, you on the fact that, you know, you are learning to trust again and letting your guard down. He may even want to compliment you on things that you may not even feel that great, but he sees greatness within that. So I'm seeing an example of somebody, uh, you know, paying something and then they're like, ah, this is not good at all. And then this person's like, no, it's good. Like, you know, that type of energy. So I see him wanting to compliment the things that you may not feel that great about. So we have the King of Pentacles. And I also see him wanting to compliment you on, or not on, but by showing you through physical things. So let's say, let's say you cooked an amazing meal and he really loved it and enjoyed it. He wants to compliment that and maybe do the dishes for you to show his appreciation. Or let's say, you know, he just gets paid and he pays for you to go do your nails and it's sort of like just to spoil you or takes you out on a dinner to show his love for you. I, I guess that's not a compliment, but let's just say you do get your nails done and he's paid for it and and then it's like, you know, I'm really glad I paid for it because it looks so good. I'm seeing an energy like that. So we have the Knight of Swords. The Page of Swords. I'm seeing somebody here, like, let's say you buy new things as well. Let's say you go to the store and you buy new shoes or something. I keep seeing shoes, so maybe your shoes look really good. And then he wants to compliment that. The Ten of Swords. Again, I'm seeing that same message of like where he may not feel the best, you make him feel better. So Spirit is showing me Shrek when he kind of like takes, as I look at this, I'm being reminded of the scene of Shrek when he takes off the helmet and then she sees him. But then Fiona loves him anyway, you know, even though he's an ogre. Uh, so it's like you love the best and maybe... The not so best parts that he perceives he has you love the insecurities he has like and it just makes him more confident in himself and I guess that's not really a compliment towards you but maybe he 
Maybe he also loves maybe the things you don't feel the best about or sort of like insecure about. Because when we look at the people we love, we don't see the insecurities or flaws the way we see it ourselves when we maybe look in the mirror or look at ourselves. So I, I see an energy like that. Two of Swords. Justice. I feel like a lot of people in this pile are quite blunt and honest. Even if... Okay... Even if it hurts to hear the truth, you'd rather be honest with the person than lie to them. So that is something I definitely see. Like, let's say your friend asks you for advice. You're not going to give the advice they want to hear, but you're going to tell them what they need to hear. Whether or not they take your advice, they ask for your opinion. So you're going to be honest, even if you don't enjoy it in the moment. So with the Queen of Swords here... You've also become super strong with your boundaries, like not letting anybody cross your boundaries or disrespect you. So, you know, you speak your truth and that's something he wants to compliment you on. Also, your voice could be very beautiful with all these swords and the way your mind works, your mindset, your perspective, your beliefs. I feel like you have a very positive mindset. And he knows he can count on you and trust you. You're also very intelligent and outspoken is the word I hear. Ace of Pentacles. The Tower and Strength and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, like you make decisions that better your life. Like I said, that responsibility is showing up. And also, I see this pile, a lot of you in this pile could be quite neat and tidy you know, I feel like you're always organizing things, always making sure things are neat and tidy, even when it comes to the way you look. So that is something I definitely see for a lot of you. You also know how to be there for the ones you love when they're going through things and help them move past it. Like, you know how to support the people you love. And I think... You know, going back to that thing of you being really honest, I feel like a lot of people only see that side of you and misjudge you and are quite intimidated by you because of that. But then this person sees that you have that honest, blunt side of you, but then you also have another side of you where you really care for others, where you really support others, like the people you love. You know, you're so loyal and that is something I see he wants to compliment you on. You also have very strong defining features and I'm seeing that not just him but a lot of people in general that are attracted to you could sort of get a little bit clumsy around you because of how attractive you are. So, for example, let's just say you're walking somewhere and someone all of a sudden trips and falls because they were looking at you. I'm seeing an energy like that clairvoyantly. So, this is your reading. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.